everybody. So I am in our theater, as we like to joke around about it on the podcast when we're kind of sharing some things out there. Um, you know, um, this past week, um, Nintendo put out their Black Friday offerings um, for the week. And we did talk about it on the podcast um, this past week for our 300th episode, but I kind of wanted to get a little bit more in depth on it and actually be able to talk to it a little bit more than just um, that, you know, five minutes ish that we talked about it on the podcast. Um, so with that, let's, let's break down into the, the promos that we're going to be seeing for uh, this year's Nintendo uh, 2024 Black Friday promos. They are going to be going on from the 24th through the 30th uh, for the game deals. And then they're going to have some bundles and stuff like that, which we'll talk about here. But uh, let's get right down into it. So uh, we're going to be seeing uh, $20 off select titles. So uh, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom uh, is going to be $49.99. That is for the standard edition, not any collector's edition or anything like that out there. Um, for $39.99, you're going to be able to get Super uh, Mario Maker 2, Animal Crossing, Pikmin 4, uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, and Nintendo Switch Sports. The nice thing about the physical version of that is that it comes with the leg strap, which is um, needed if you want to do the uh, soccer with more movement. Um, otherwise, you can just use the, the Joy-Cons if you want to. And then uh, for twenty nine nine nine, you're going to be able to pick up Super Mario Odyssey or Pikmin one and two. Um, you know, with Mario Odyssey, um, you know that was a launch title, but it still holds up. Um, I'm not a fan of the the three D Mario's overall, which you know some of us love two Ds like I do. Some of us love the you know love the three D versions of it, but. I enjoy that one. It is fun. Um, my kids love it. So for $30, that is well worth the pickup for anybody that hasn't played it yet on the Switch or is looking to get one of the bundles that we're going to talk about here in a second. Um, but when you look at um, the accessory promos they're going to be doing, you're going to be able to get $20 off uh, either the new blue, uh, the neon blue or the neon red Joy-Cons. Um, those usually retail for $39.99 by themselves, so you're going to get $20 bucks off of that. Um, you're going to be able to get the, the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom uh, Switch carrying case that comes with a screen protector, which is great. Um, honestly, I recommend that for anybody that owns a Switch, especially if you have kids. Um, we've got Switches in our in the household, and one of them got, got the screen protector cracked. Thankfully, it was only a screen, screen protector and not the LCD screen because those are not cheap to replace. So I definitely recommend that. And then, of course, I think the the big one is $20 off the Pro Controller, which as much as I love the PlayStation DualSense controller, I love the actual Pro Controller itself. Um, ergonomically, it feels really good. Um, it's got a nice lighter weight to it. The battery length on it is great. Don't have to charge it all the time. Like my, my PS5 controller, I have to charge every day. Like once I'm done with it, it goes on its charger and that's it. The Switch Pro Controller once every week or two and it's done um it's when they're taken care of they last quite a while um my original pro controller that i got at launch finally died after hours upon hours of of gaming with it um anybody who watches the podcast knows i have an absolute metric ton of animal crossing um since it launched between two switches that is roughly at least a thousand to fifteen hundred hours just in Animal Crossing alone. So give you an idea, plus all the other stuff I play. Um, that's where it's at. So um when you look at their bundles, they're doing their bundles again like they did last year. Um this time around you've got the it's the you know it's a Mario Kart 8 bundle. The standard switch is going to be $299. It comes it's the red and blue version and it comes with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's a digital download, and it comes with one year of the Switch Online Individual, uh, which is uh, $19.99 on its own. So where they're saying it's an $80 value is, of course, the, the game itself is you know 60 bucks for, for Mario Kart. Then you have the OLED version, which is uh, 30, uh, 349. 
same thing, Mario Kart 8 download, copy, and individual online. But then they're also doing um, this right here, the, the Hyrule Edition Switch Lite. Um, that one's going to be $209.99. Um, and with that one, the difference between those for folks that haven't actually really gotten into the Switch is that it is handheld only. So as you see in the pictures for the OLED and the standard, it co those comes with a dock that you can hook up to a TV or a computer monitor, and you can actually game right on on those. Whereas the light, it is purely handheld. It actually doesn't even have the the board in it to do online or on your uh, TV with rather. So, um, but the nice thing with that one is it is coming with the Switch Online Plus expansion pack. I'm gonna get to that here in a second because I know a lot of folks just haven't looked into um, into that. So with the actual programs itself, I just want to kind of go over this is that um, you are going to have, um, here we go. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Um, the bundles are going to be, the Mario Kart bundles are going to be available through the Nintendo store. They're going to be available on GameStop, Best Buy, Walmart, and Target. Um, and then the Hyrule Edition, this is the different one. This is going to be GameStop, Best Buy, and Target. Um, all of this is while supplies last. So if you're thinking about getting a switch, I highly recommend it. Um, a lot of people are saying, oh no, don't, don't get it. Hold off for the switch too. But the thing is, is that if you don't care about having the newest, greatest hardware, um, you know, the, the switch two is going to be backwards compatible. So any games that you get now will be playable on the Switch 2. That has already been confirmed by the president of Nintendo. He put out a tweet about it saying, yes, it is going to be backwards compatible. Um, so honestly, picking one of these up is still great. It's a great value. Um, you can get a lot of games on it right now. Just do a lot of gaming because we honestly do not know when the Switch 2 is going to even be announced. We've been talking about it all year, and now it's look, looking like we're going to see it. Q1, to. Q2 maybe is an announcement, and then who knows when it's actually going to come out as an actual, you know, release on that. So grab one now if you're really thinking about it, especially if you're a family. You get tons of use out of it, and you can just carry everything over to the Switch 2 when it comes out. Now, I did mention about the Switch Online uh, programs here, and you can go on Nintendo.com and actually um, go just jump on the under Switch and go to online services, you can see this as well, but I'm showing you is that um, there's the two different tiers. Now, I have the the family version of the Switch Online Plus Expansion Pass, which runs $80 for a year. Um, it covers all of us on the podcast, plus the rest of my family. Um, it's great. So um, with this, though, you get online play, so you can do Splatoon, Mario Kart, all online with people from around the, the US, around the world. Um, you get the NES Virtual Console, which has the original Metroid, original Zelda, original Mario, even Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. are on there. Then you also get the Super Nintendo con uh, Virtual Console, which has Mario World, uh, Super Metroid, Links to the Past, F-Zero, um, and um, as well as Super Mario All-Stars, which was, we all know, which was like, kind of like a remastered kind of version of Super Mario 1, 2, and 3, plus the Lost Levels. Um, you know, I, I still wish that had some city on there. It's one of my favorite games from the Super Nintendo as well as Chrono Trigger. But we all know that Chrono Trigger has been kind of off on its own for a little bit. You get the Game Boy Virtual Console as well, which has got um, Metroid 2, Mario Land. Um, you also get access to the Nintendo Music app, which released uh, right around Halloween. It's a great app, um, has several soundtracks on there, um, including Mario Odyssey, Animal Crossing, uh, Mario Kart, Breath of the Wild, Metroid Prime, Ocarina of Time, um, the, the old Wii channels, which is, it's nice to kind of hear because I used to go read news on there and look at the weather and stuff and look at things around the world uh, right through the Wii. So it's a, it's an app and you get access to those soundtracks with some of those soundtracks have been sought after and Nintendo just doesn't put them out really all that much. So, um, it's, it's great to have access to that. Uh, you have the save data cloud, which allows you to cloud save just like with PlayStation plus difference is, is that 
with save data cloud is that some games do not have that built-in capability to be able to download um, from the cloud. So um, Animal Crossing, that one you have to use an app that's on the Switch to transfer to a new Switch. And uh, Pokemon, you have to actually transfer those from Switch to Switch, um, namely, especially Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, you get the Nintendo Switch app, um, which has a, a lot of cool features on it. Um, I abuse that app just for Animal Crossing. Um, anytime I'm out on my island kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to build things, I can jump into the Animal Crossing portion of the app go look at my entire catalog and I can see what I've already bought and built to kind of help decide what I need to grab for that particular part of my island. Um, now with the expansion pass uh, gets you, that'll come with that Hyrule Edition uh, Switch Lite is the N64 Virtual Console, which has got Ocarina of Time, Mario 64, Mario Kart 64 on it. Um, you've got game the Game Boy Advance Virtual Console. You've got the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Packs, which is great because it gave you an extra um, eight sets of courses. Um, that was an add-on that that just goes through some of the history of, of Mario Kart, including Mario Kart Tour. Um, you get Animal Crossing New Horizons Happy Home Paradise, which that was, for me, being a huge Animal Crossing fan, I loved it. Uh, it's a resort island that you go to and you actually are an employee of uh, Lottie's. And you basically build, you know, design vacation homes for people that are visiting the island. You also build a school, hospital, um, cafe, restaurant, and a, a shop. They have activities that go on in the island as well. Um, there's unique stuff that are out there um, and abilities to do for your island through Happy Home Paradise. So it's well worth it just for that. You get Splatoon 2, the Octo expansion. Kids play as an Octoline in a uh, single player adventure add on for Splatoon 2. And then finally, you get the Sega Genesis Virtual Console. And with that, um, it comes with games like Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Shining Force, um, some great, great games from the Genesis itself that um, a lot of us played as a complement to owning the Super Nintendo. So overall, uh, I think it is a great, great offering that they're doing um, this year. Um, I do hope that, um, you know, like I said, any of y'all that are uh, looking to pick up a, a switch, go ahead and grab one now. Um, and hopefully that you're able to get one while it, they are available for supplies last. So um, the only thing I want to say is with it starting the 24th being that Thanksgiving week, um, you know, people are going to be out shopping, trying to grab food, um, last minute food items rather for, for the Thanksgiving meal. Plus you got Black Friday, people going out shopping and stuff like that. So um, the best thing I can always say is just like we in the podcast is just be excellent to each other. Have a good night. Guys.